very much, John. Uh, Julie, terrific to have you here in Tassie um, with your small entourage that you have <laughs> with you for the next couple of days. To my parliamentary colleagues, Steve and Eric, um, Brett, Lisa, uh, distinguished guests, uh, excellencies. Uh, this, this is really, uh, I think, an important program. Julie describes it as a uh, government signature program. Really, Julie, it's a Julie Bishop signature program. And you should be congratulated for having the concept of bringing this uh, to government following the 2013 election. Uh, I've had the opportunity since coming to the International Education Portfolio to travel quite extensively to meet with a number of ministers of education in the region. And we are still reaping the dividends of the original Colombo plan from the 1950s, 60s and 70s. And we will, without question, reap the dividends of the new Colombo plan for decades to come. There is absolutely no doubt in my mind that an international education opportunity is, as Emily said, a life-changing one. It is a generational one. The number of people that I've spoken to in senior positions internationally who not only came here for an education themselves but sent their children here for an education as well um, is, is quite considerable. And I think the thing that strikes me is that you never know where you will end up. I met a woman in Indonesia when I was there in Jakarta in November who was the University of Tasmania's first ever engineering graduate in 1963. She went on to run Telecom Indonesia. An extraordinary achievement from, from alumni from the, the original Colombo plan. Who knows where you might end up and all of the other alumni here. I think it's fantastic that after sh such a short time we have so many alumni who've come from all over Tasmania, not just from Hobart, to be with us here tonight. So thank you for being here. Uh, and uh, Julie and I will launch on Saturday our international edu education strategy, but also a global alumni strategy which starts to draw together the strings of well, Julie mentioned before about our engagement with alumni globally and the power of those people. I met a woman in Dubai when I was there in January who is credited with sending 47 students to Australia because of her experience here as an international student. It is really quite powerful. Uh, and I've spoken to the Vice-Chancellor before about my meeting with the Prime Minister of the Cook Islands late last year, um, who is also an alumni of the University of Tasmania, but has family members living in Moona. Uh, so the connections just continue to remain, and, and they will. So it is a lifelong and it is a generational experience. So uh, Julie, I think in launching the alumni program here in Tassie, congratulations should go to you for your vision in pulling together this program, which will have lasting benefits for all of those who participate in it. And I congratulate all of those of you who have taken the opportunity to undertake that international education experience. Uh, but it will continue to pay dividends for you and for our country for a long, long time into the future. So it's a, a real pleasure to be here today to be a part of this launch, uh, to congratulate you on your achievements but to wish you well and to let you know that we want to remain engaged with you uh, into the future. Uh, and you have a bit of a job to do if you're going to catch up with that lady in Dubai who's sent 47 students to follow in her path. Uh, but uh, congratulations for being here and, and, and thank you for participating in tonight's launch.